break live as we sort of creep into fall. Not officially fall yet, but uh, it's coming. Back to school has happened and now it's time to make wonderful dishes that can feed the whole family that are good for you. So if you have a history with lasagna like I do, because uh, it's not just that I'm the silver sheet chef, it's that I'm Sicilian. That's why I know my lasagna. But lasagna isn't always that great for you, particularly if people are eating it with animal fats, animal proteins, animal fats. Well, of course, we're not doing that here today. Nuh-uh, no way. Uh, so this is going to be a very healthy lasagna. It's going to have lots of veggies, no meat products, of course, no dairy products, of course, and no oil. So I think I've talked to you about this before. We can do a lot with just mushroom broth. So I've got that already, oh, it's not even out my mushroom broth. Oh my gosh, hold on. Uh, they look the same, soy milk and mushroom broth. Mushroom broth, mushroom broth. So this has come in handy for me so many times. I can saute mushrooms, of course, or onions, garlic, etc. I just simmer it really low with mushroom broth. So. Um, no oil and some great nutritious products. Now, what I'm gonna show you is the base for lasagna. And then you just make any lasagna you want. So if red peppers fry your burger, your vegan burger, that is, uh, then you use that. I love spinach, I love mushrooms, so today I'm making a mushroom spinach lasagna. But the base for this lasagna, you can do whatever you want with it. So, let's get this party started. When you think of lasagna, you think of Ricotta. So how are you gonna get a vegan ricotta? I'll show you. So this is my, this is what makes it basically. This is the thing. Uh, pine nuts. I take pine nuts and I put them, hold on now. I put, this is about a cup and a half of pine nuts. And I put all of my pine nuts in my uh, food processor, which is so great. Make sure it's all evenly out here. And then I just do a tad bit of soy milk to help things get creamy. Shake my soy milk. Uh, and then I'm gonna add a pinch of salt. And once I blend it, I'm going to have something very similar to ricotta cheese. And this is what I use as my base for lasagna. And again, today I'm making mushroom spinach lasagna. Uh, but here, oh, salt. Now, I'm a, I'm a fan, I'm a fan of salt. Uh, but I have really low blood pressure, so if that's not your case, of course, go go light and easy here. Uh, I'm gonna do a pinch. Okay, great. Do 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 do. Ready? Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. I love this thing. I bought it refurbished on Amazon for like fifty nine dollars. I love it. Okay. Making sure it's all going in there, just want to make sure not one pine nut is lost. I cannot let one pine nut go lonely. So I just want to make sure that everything gets in there. But it's you're, you can see now it's making a very thick paste. Okay, so now before somebody says to me like, oh my God, pine nuts, they've got so much fat. Yes, they do have fat. And this is lasagna after all. They do have fat but they have polyunsaturated fat, that's the majority of it. So much healthier fat, and again, we're not using any oils and obviously no meat products, so uh, we're doing good. So I'm just gonna spin this up a little more. Okay, okay. Wanna make sure it all gets going. Okay, so meanwhile, this is one of those recipes where you have, you know, seven pans going at once. I exaggerate, but you kinda have a lot of iron in the fire with this. So here is my uh, ricotta cheese. Great. Meanwhile, back on the ranch, I have been chopping onions, of course. You cannot have tomato sauce without onions and garlic, really, honestly. I, in fact, quite frankly, what the heck can you do without onions and garlic? Not much. So uh, I've been chopping, so you can see this, I've been chopping onions, just a straight old yellow onion, which is great. You could probably also use a white onion, no problem. And I put all of my onions and my garlic. So I chopped an onion about this size, so I'm gonna call this a, a medium big onion. I chopped the whole thing, and then garlic, and I love garlic, you can't have enough. So I put five or six cloves of chopped garlic, and 
a bunch of tomatoes in my tomato sauce. I'll show you what I got going here. It's still heating up. So this does take a little while to prepare. Not a whole big heck of a lot, but you know, like I said, you're gonna have preparation for the ricotta and then you're making your sauce. Of course, you need a good tomato sauce for lasagna. And then um, I'm also sauteing mushrooms, which I'll tell you in a second. But so just so you know, so when you're doing your tomato sauce, you can take tomatoes like these, which are wonderful, or you can buy a, pan, a can of, um, I like chunky tomato sauce, so you can buy chunky tomato sauce, put it in your food, food processor um, if you're doing regular tomatoes, or if you're not doing regular tomatoes, then you just open the can, uh, put in all of your onions, put in all of your garlic, and start sauteing. So because you've got that juice from the mushrooms, you really don't need to put any oil in there, but of course you want salt. Don't be crazy, people. You want salt, you want basil, and you want oregano. So I've been putting all of these things already in here, but I knew that I'd be seeing you today, so I'm gonna put in a little extra. Salt, basil, the basics, just the Italian basics. So we're really building a foundation here. Uh, tomatoes, basil, salt, garlic, onions, and oregano. So, you know, I don't know how much more Italian you can get than that. The only thing that would be more Italian would be extra virgin olive oil. Uh, but I'm laying low on that because as a lot of you may know, I do a lot of recipes about aging backwards. People are always asking me, well, how can it be that you're almost 53 and you're moving around like that and you're always dancing and you have lots of energy? Uh, plant-based diet, that's why. Plant-based diet, and of course, uh, tortilla chips are plant-based, but I'm not eating those either. Uh, extra virgin olive oil is plant-based. I'm laying low on that, although I do have it from time to time. Uh, and you know, today we're gonna have pine nuts, which of course have fat in them, but I really roll back the things that are super fatty, that are the bad fats, like fried foods, and of course, no animal meat, no dairy. Uh, so you know, Plant-based diet gets me like 90% of the way there. And then the rest is exercise and making sure I eat the right things, which is what we're talking about today. So, okay, moving on. Mushrooms, I want to show you, because I've been busy before you got here. Oh. Now, like I said, this lasagna is all about me today, uh, which is spinach and mushrooms. That's what I love but you could also make your lasagna all about you. So if there are other vegetables that you love, like red peppers or whatever really fries your vegan burger, it's up to you. I am heavy on the mushrooms. I love the umami taste, first of all, and I, you know, believe it or not, mushrooms pack some protein. People always overlook mushrooms, but they've actually got nutrients in them, great fiber. So if you ever listen to my podcast, Awesome Vegans, I recently interviewed John Sally, the NBA star, four-time champion, and we had this great conversation. You know, he's six foot seven, so what the heck does he eat? And he's always talking about it's not protein that he's after, it's fiber. So again, mushrooms are gonna be a great source of fiber. I'll put these right back here. Um, see how my tomato sauce okay. Great, sorry for that uh, thing there. Okay, so uh, I have now, as you saw back here, chopped my mushrooms, I have my sauce going, I have my ricotta, so now I'm going to focus on, look at how beautiful is this. I'm gonna focus on my spinach. And you could do this a couple ways. If you wanted to steam this in advance, you could, but I want to be careful that there's not too much liquid in my lasagna. So a steamed spinach is gonna hold on to all that liquid. You don't wanna do that here. So I'm gonna do mine fresh. And I'm also going to cut off all the long stringy ends. Not because they're not nutritious for you, they sure are. And you know, in lots of instances, I would continue to use those. But in this instance, I, I don't want that stringiness coming through on my lasagna. So I just cut off the majority of the ends and I'm gonna put them in my trash compactor. So there we go. So I've got that all straightened out. And then there's one more major ingredient, and that is mozzarella cheese, of course, and of course the pasta itself, but mo mozzarella cheese. So now my boyfriend, who recently has become vegan, because I've been doing my job, that's why, uh, he has been testing out making his own mozzarella. So I have sliced 
mozzarella that we made at home. Now this is its own recipe, so I'm not gonna make that here today, um, but you can find this on my website at elizabethalfano.com, or you can just, what the heck people, you can just go buy Miyoko's if you don't have time for that. So slice your mozzarella cheese in long slices, just like I'm doing here, so that it's ready to be layered out into the pasta. And there are many brands. I think Parmela does a great mozzarella, and of course Miyoko's, and also Daya does a mozzarella. So you know, you've got your choice there of mozzarellas if you're not gonna use my Ken's. <laughs> but today I'm using my homemade mozzarella made by Ken. Okay, so I think, ooh, bubbling, bubbling, turn this down. So, um, in this tomato sauce, sometimes to thicken it up, I'll add a little bit of tomato paste. And I've already got it thick enough, but again, we want to make sure that our lasagna isn't watery, because what we want to do once we bake it, and then you pull it out of the oven and you let it set, you want it to kind of stay together. So, that's going to be our goal. Okay, well let's just start assembling lasagna. I mean, let's get to it, people. We don't have all day. Okay. I love this, seven by 11, it is the absolute perfect size. This is gonna feed eight. So usually, you know, if you're making all of this stuff, I would make two or three of these at a time. It freezes really great, and then whenever you throw a dinner party or it's Thanksgiving at your house and people start talking about turkey, oh yeah, I don't think so. You pull out the vegan lasagna, and no one will even know the difference, that's the crazy thing, because it's gonna, gonna taste so similar and so good. You see how that ricotta cheese is gonna the pine nut ricotta cheese is gonna stand up. Okay, so what I have been doing is, now usually I don't, I boil my own lasagna, but I've been using this no boil lasagna, you can maybe see that right there. I've been using this no boil lasagna, and I find it to be really great uh, because it soaks up all the liquid. We do have some liquid from the sauce and from the mushrooms and uh, the, the spinach is gonna sweat, obviously, very quickly in, the, the lasagna when we bake it. So, move that there so you can see. So I'm just layering this dry lasagna at the bottom. But what I am gonna do, let's hope, oh, right. My boyfriend keeps a really organized kitchen. This is awesome. So this, this obviously has rounded edges and the pasta has sharp edges. So I'm gonna cut myself some rounded edges just so that it fits really perfectly. I'm getting a little overzealous here, people. Just so it fits really perfectly, whoops. Right into the nudges of this. There we go. Of my tray, here. My pan, which is great. Cutting off that. Just the teeniest bit, just the teeniest bit. Okay, and I'm gonna do that for all six so this is gonna be three layers of lasagna and two layers of internal filling and then a top layer just to make sure that it all is uh, moist and everything inside. And then at the very end, I'll add some fresh basil because who the heck doesn't like that? And you're gonna see just how easy this is. You know, particularly I always like to tell people, so I find chopping really cathartic. So if you don't have a lot of time, that's why I like to make three or four lasagnas in one go. And then, you know, let's say you're listening to your favorite podcast, like Awesome Vegans, <laughs> or you're watching something on television, or just chop, chop it a little hard out. Chop all those mushrooms, chop all the garlic, chop all the onions, and then, you know, when it comes time to assemble, you'll be very ready, because the only thing that really takes a long time is making sure you have all the components. Okay, so now, I'm going to spoon in my ricotta cheese. One of the reasons that I like this no boil lasagna is because if your lasagna is boiled and therefore malleable and gooey, and it's hard to actually put the pine nuts as a base layer of ricotta cheese. So I like to do that here and now right on my sheets of lasagna. Okay, I wanna get it even. That's why if you think like, why is she looking down so much? She's looking down just because I want my pasta to be perfect. So uh, I'm doing a lot of finessing of my ricotta cheese. Okay, there we go. 
So we've got layer one. Ooh, looking fine, looking fly. Yeah, this is gonna taste great. Oh, so yummy. Okay. Yum. Okay, so I've got that. Now I'm gonna spoon in some of my mushrooms. I give myself a whole healthy layer here. Now, remember I said that you can put your um, spinach in fresh. You sure can, but you don't wanna do that with your mushrooms, and here's why. You really want it to pack a mushroom punch, and the mushrooms, when they're fresh, are so big, you really want them to boil down so they're smaller so that basically you can fit more mushrooms in. So, let me do that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Now I'm gonna layer in, hopefully you can see that. See how I've layered in, oh, okay. Now, this is also, the spinach is also gonna uh, warm down to almost nothing. So I'm gonna layer my spinach kinda heavy, like one spinach leaf on top of another. This one's kinda big. Yeah, so I almost wanna double up on my spinach here so that everybody makes sure that they get good bite of spinach. Yeah, I like this. Ooh, I love how this is coming together. Not to mention that, of course, it's pretty. But yeah, spinach is pretty. And spinach, so we're talking about making healthy things for ourselves. Spinach is wonderful. It's great for your hair. It's great for your skin. It has vitamin K. It's just wonderful. It has calcium. So I don't want to hear about like dairy for calcium. We're done with that discussion, right? People, we all know the answer to that. There's calcium in a gazillion things. Spinach is going to be one of them. Uh, oh, and I really layered that. Look how lovely that is. So again, very nutritious spinach. Very hard to go without that. Okay. In an ideal world, I would let my tomato sauce simmer down even further, but that's okay. We're getting in to the thick of things here. So let me spoon out my tomato. My tomato, the heaviness of it, Oh, and I recommend wearing something dark so that if you spill tomato sauce on yourself, uh, you're okay. Okay. That no one can really tell, even though they can kind of tell, but nobody can really tell. Okay. Try not to spill on yourself, basically. Try not to splatter as hard as it is. Try not to splatter tomato sauce on yourself. Okay, so I'm just, oh, I can just smell the garlic. Just smell it. So wonderful. Okay, so a very heavy layer of tomato. I want it to really get into all the cracks. I want this to be full, full, full of this taste and juice. Okay, ooh, I got it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, right back here. Now I finally get to put my homemade mozzarella. I'm just gonna layer it in. Now again, I like to make this dish when I'm having dinner parties, when I'm having people over. I sort of also, <laughs> if I can say, I kind of make it to impress people in the sense that when I'm having non-vegans over and I love to cook for non-vegans, I just whip up the lasagna and people are like, what the heck is going on here? So very, very good. Now, something that we didn't talk about, ooh, it's getting very full already. Okay, more lasagna. Oh yeah, ooh gosh. I gotta press down on it. I'm pressing down, I'm getting ready for my second layer. Pressing down, woo, I don't know. I'm making a really thick lasagna today, people. It's great. So you really wanna make sure that you slice your mozzarella thin. Uh, again, this is our homemade mozzarella, but if you had Miyoko's or something, you could grate it. And probably in, in an ideal world, I would have done that with this mozzarella, but that's okay. Okay, more, oh, okay, hard to, you know, you can see the beauty of this, right? If you just look, I don't know if you can see the oil that's coming out of the, of the pine nuts, but it, it is a healthy oil, and again, who are we kidding? I'm, I'm making lasagna today, I'm not making salad. But um, I do have a lot of healthy ingredients in it, and when I do things like pine nuts, of course, I keep it to a dull roar. So this is not a, an item that I eat every day. But it does have, now here's the thing about pine nuts, and maybe I already said this, I don't think I did. The thing about pine nuts is it does have a food source for vitamin E, and it's kind of hard to get a food source for vitamin E. So, and of course it has other things as well. So, you know, don't knock it, people. And it's a wonderful alternative to ricotta. 
Okay, now it does take a little while to spread it around because it's nice and thick, but I think I got this covered finally. Yes, yes, I'm gonna show you this in just a second. Oh, ah, I like it rich, so I'm just gonna do. Now, of course, I, I, I've made this before, and give or take what you put in it, because I'm gonna talk to you about some other options. Um, it's about 200 to 250 calories a square, and this does make eight servings, but really, if you're my boyfriend, then he says six servings, then if that's the case, you're looking at just under 400 per, not sent for mushrooms, you're looking at just under 400 calories per lasagna square. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Who just doesn't want to devour this? Oh my gosh, look at all these great mushrooms. Oh, how I love it. Oh, how I love it, okay. Okay, I'm gonna show you in just a second, people. Don't get nervous, it's coming. You're gonna see, you're gonna see. Oh my gosh, I love mushrooms. That's the thing is, I love mushrooms. Now, every once in a while, I'll run into somebody who doesn't like mushrooms. I maybe even overdid it on the mushrooms. I think, okay, I didn't know it was possible, but even for me, I maybe overdid it. Yeah, oh, how I love mushrooms. Okay, yeah, now we got it, now we got it. Okay, <laughs> just got overexcited about mushrooms because you know, what the heck, look at that. Look at that, what the heck, okay. Lovely. Now I'm going to do more spinach. Just kind of double up on my spinach like I said I would. Oh, I get rid of these long pieces just because it's gonna be nicer when you bite into it if you don't have that kind of stringiness. But we did talk about the beauty of spinach in, in, in what it can do for you and what it offers you. So yes, there's going to be some fat in this because you've got mozzarella cheese, which we made ours at home and it's made out of cashews, and pine nuts. So my ricotta cheese is made out of pine nuts, but these are whole foods. You know, it's not processed oils, etc. It's any oil that's coming out of those pine nuts is from the pine nut itself. So I really like that. And um, I do... I, I watch it with nuts, but I'm not super crazy because nuts can give you a lot of good nutrients. And like I said, for pine nuts, it's a, uh, a bit of obviously protein, but also vitamin E. So good stuff there. Oh, I gotta push it down. Okay, now I'm doing, I think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do my mozzarella first here. Oh, my word. Oh my gosh, look at the layers coming together. So you see, it's really all about making the ingredients first because once you have those things, this is a little bit too thick. What the heck was I thinking? Uh, because once you have those uh, separate components, you know, the mushrooms and the tomato sauce, once you have that all worked out, then it's really just a question of layering and throwing it in the oven which is what I'm just about to do now. So right now you're probably preheating your oven, which I'm gonna do. You're gonna preheat it to about 375. And then I put this in for a solid 40 minutes. And then when I take it out, I uh, let it set. You know, it's gonna be pretty hot in the middle. So I let it set for about 10 minutes. Just sit, okay. I am out of mozzarella cheese, okay. There we go. Oh, now I want to make sure that I have all this sauce. Oh, it's going to overflow. Oh my word. How did I overpack it today? It's okay. Don't panic. Do not panic. Do not panic. Do not spill on yourself. All these kind of great things. I tend to get, no matter what I do, Every time I make it, I really should have worn an apron today. Every time I make it, I do tend to get some kind of splatter on me. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, how I love. Oh, how I love. Okay. Now, I will put the last two, just because I don't want this to dry out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm going to have to put this on a bake pan because when this bakes, it's going to, oh, how I love it. Now I just don't want those little pieces of lasagna on top to dry out, so I'll kind of give it just a healthy bit of 
tomato sauce right on top. Oh, I can smell the garlic. Just love it. Yeah, I don't know how you could not be super excited about this. It's garlic and mushrooms, my word. And some great healthy spinach and some natural fats. I'm gonna set my, uh, my, yeah, my oven to 375. Uh, and so there you have it. Now, one thing I am going to say is, I get, we spoke about this already, so I'll show you the final result. Uh, so this is just a base for a lasagna, and mushroom spinach lasagna is filling and tasty, and it's what I love. But my boyfriend, recently vegan, he likes a more marinara sauce, a more meaty sauce. So what I do for him, again, we're talking about the different base layers that you can make when making lasagna. Instead of mushroom and instead of spinach, well, I always add mushroom to everything to be quite honest, but um, I'll take lifelike tempeh. Let me show you. Okay, I live on this stuff. I stock it up all the time. Stock it, stock it, stock it up. I live on it. I, I do the exact same tomato sauce. So tomatoes, a little tomato paste, salt, oregano, basil, sauteed onions, and garlic. Okay, then I add tempeh, which this thing right here has something like 60 grams of protein. I'm not kidding. Yeah, yeah, it's incredible. So yes, it, it has 40 grams of protein, this one thing. Okay, so so good for you, basically unprocessed soybean, fermented soybean. So um, I'll put it in the sauce, and then I will add a little bit of soy sauce, Hold on, I've got to show you all the stuff. Hold on, hold on. I add a little bit of cumin, a little bit of Spanish paprika, and a little bit of soy sauce. And that's all I do to bring out the flavor to make that tempe soak in the tomatoes and taste like a marinara. And then I'll usually add mushrooms to that as well. And I'll just layer the same thing as if I have my base. So I'll put my pine nut ricotta cheese, and then I'll put that meaty marinara with the mushrooms and the tempeh, and then I'll put the mozzarella on top of that, and then I'll layer, and I'll just keep going. So really, you can make a gazillion types of lasagna, and I want to say head over to my website, elizabethalfano.com, because I also have all those ingredients for paprika and cumin and those things to make the meaty marinara for your lasagna, and of course, all of the um, quantities that you'll need for all of the pine nuts and everything else that we've done here. Okay, so give or take my oven is ready, and I'm going to bake that at uh, 375, for about 45 minutes and then I'll let it set. And then like with a lot of foods where you're trying to infuse the flavors, sometimes it's even better as leftovers. So of course you can make it that night and you can serve it for dinner. But like I said, feel free to make three or four at a time, maybe different versions, freeze them, bring them out. And when you reheat it, it's, it's even gonna be more flavorful. So you really kind of can't go wrong and uh, that's it. This is a very nutritious, no animal fat, the things that give us diabetes, colorectal cancer. That word colorectal cancer is just not allowed in my kitchen. Like that just does not happen here. Heart disease. So, you know, we're not looking at any animal fats. We do have a little fat from the pine nut. It is lasagna after all, but it's a healthy fat, a polysaturated fat. Then you've got mushrooms and spinach, so good for you. And some homemade mozzarella, or, you know, if you're buying mozzarella, try to buy the kind that is more cashew based than oil based. And you're gonna have a rich meal. I mean, it's a decadent meal, but it's a whole heck of a lot better than regular lasagna, and you're not gonna be able to tell the difference. So uh, hit me up at my Facebook page, Elizabeth Alfano, or my Awesome Vegans page, the Awesome Vegans with Elizabeth Alfano podcast, or hit my website, which really has all of the ingredients for everything, elizabethalfano.com. Thank you for watching today, and more than anything, thank you for being vegan. Go surprise your friends with fabulous vegan lasagna. Bye, everybody.